Okay, hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. Hi hey guys, I'm Andy Chatfield, head of tech support here at PTZ Optics. Now you may notice that below us here we have three cameras, and that is because Andy's going to show us how to control four cameras with an IR remote control. Yes, with the IR remote control that comes with your PTZ Optics camera. So you should see that sitting here. Um, I just want to go over some of the basic functionality of the IR remote control. The main, obviously the main uses are for pan, tilt, zooming your camera around, and then setting and recalling presets. So obviously the directional buttons will move your camera. Uh, let me just, you, can, you should be able to see my three cameras moving. Now the reason why that's happening is because by default they're all set to camera one. Exactly. They're all set to camera one, so they're all going to respond, but I have my mom camera select one. So you can see when I'm moving that is flashing. I guess you can't really see it in the... Uh, the thing here but uh it's showing me the camera select one is the one receiving the ir signals um so how we would get around it we can basically set one of these cameras to be one one to be two one to be three and that way when you're set to camera select three you'd only be controlling the third camera when you're set to camera select two you'd only be controlling the second and so on and so forth so i just want to show you guys real quick how to do that because i do get a lot of calls about this um so basically what you're going to want to do is you want to pick your camera that's going to stay camera one. I'm going to keep that one and make it the uh, the one on my my left, your guy's right. So this one's going to stay as camera one. So I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to turn off what I want to be three. So as of right now, I should only have camera two on. Right now it's responding to camera select one because I haven't set it yet. So what I want to do on the remote is press star, pound, and then F2. And that should set my camera to be camera select two. So I'm trying to control it with one right now, and it's not moving. As soon as I go to camera select two, I've got control of the camera again. And you can see that my camera one, well, I guess neither one of them are on, so of course they wouldn't be moving. But So now that that one's set, I'm going to turn the one that I want to be my third camera on and my second one off. So I'm going to turn this guy off and my third one on. Wait for it to do its little boot up dance. So that one I should be able to control on camera select one still. Once it's done booting up here. Yeah, I'd say it takes about 10 seconds to boot up maybe. Um. Come on camera. There we go. It takes it a little bit while. Uh, even after it boots up before the remote will actually register commands to it. So um, I'm going to set this one to be my camera select three. So I'm going to go back to my remote and do star pound F3. And now this one should be set for camera select three. So let me go test that out. There we go. So all of my cameras, I'm going to go turn the other two back on. Everything should be set correctly here. So you can do four. We're going to show three just for simplicity. Yeah, I figured four was a little redundant. Um, yeah. And actually, the, the camera that you guys are viewing us on is technically the fourth camera. And of course, I do have to ask, you know, if you have, what do you do if you have more than four cameras? Um, well, you can't control the ball independently from one remote control. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you would, would, you would at... either looking at a joystick mm -hmm. or Visca control software that can, we actually offer some for free on uh, ptzoptics.com. Mm -hmm. So now that my other cameras are on, I still have camera three. There's my camera two. And there's my camera one. So that is how you use the IR remote control to set your different IR camera IDs and you're able to control up the four cameras with one remote control. So let's talk about the range of the remote control. How far can you go? Um, it all depends on your, your environment, how much IR interference there is, large electronic devices, lighting, um, can, can both cause significant interference to IR signals. So I've used it successfully at a hundred feet away. I've also had issues from 20 feet away. It all depends on the room and, and how much electronical equipment is in there. Um, I know a lot of Romex lines and things above the ceiling can really cause some interference with, with the IR remote control. So. Um, that's always something to be aware of. I've had situations where I talk to people and they're having all sorts of issues and they just turn off the lights. 
and everything yeah. starts, starts working a lot better. That's a good like test to see if you have IR interference with yep. the lights. And if you have electronical equipment in there, uh, a lot of um, like kitchen type areas that have big stoves and things like that can cause IR interference as well. Hmm. Um, so on a mission critical uh, situation, uh, hardwired RS-232 or Cat5 hard cabled is the best option. I think that's the most reliable option, yes. Most reliable, yep. but for low budget, it comes with the camera. We just wanted to exactly. show you how to control up to four. If you're in a, in a medium-sized room with no interference, it should be completely fine. It's almost one of those things where you just want to try it. If it's working for you, great. If not, you know, look at maybe our $300 Visca joystick yep. or the $650 IP joystick. Yep. So I just wanted to go over a couple more of the... Um, the IR remote control commands, basically shortcuts you guys can use. Um, if you are looking to very quickly just image flip your camera, you can do star pound and then the nine button and that will image flip your camera. Let's show this really quickly, Andy, so it's cataloged forever. Sure. I don't know how much people are gonna be able to Where read it. Where can they it. find that, in the manual? It's in the manual and I mm -hmm. also have it posted on uh, ptcoptics.com in the knowledge base. Great. So um, if you ever get your camera and it's defaulted to um, Chinese in the on-screen display, and you're a little bit light in your Chinese translation, <laughs> you can just go ahead and press star pound one, and that's going to default the OSD back to English. You press star pound three, it's going to put it back in Chinese. We have it in quality control where they're supposed to do that already. Yes, um, it happens occasionally, very seldomly, where somebody might get one in Chinese. Um, it's just, just in case. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do star pound four, that's going to show you the current IP address of your camera. Um, very useful. I use that all the time um, just to figure out if a camera I got back what the IP address is, if I'm having issues with it, is it my own fault for not setting the IP address to be in the same range as my network, things mm -hmm. like that. It's just real easy to see. Um, star pound six will restore your camera to factory defaults. Um, not use that often. Usually once you set your camera, you want to keep the settings on there for a while. So um, star pound eight will show you the firmware version of your camera which is also very useful. And then if you do star pound manual, that will reset your IP address back to the default IP address of the camera, which is 192.168.100.88. So if you're ever having IP address issues, star pound manual, reset the IP address, you know exactly what it is, and you can start fresh. Um, that's pretty much it for the uh, the IR remote control and this uh, this Tech Support Tuesday here. I hope it's been helpful for you guys. If you have any issues whatsoever, feel free to, to submit a ticket on ptcoptics.com. You can do so from either submit a ticket form or from inside the knowledge base itself. And, uh, and yeah, if you guys run into anything with the cameras, anything you want to let me know, anything you want clarification about, go ahead and put in a ticket, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We almost hit 1,000 subscribers. So um, this Friday, we are going to be looking at the POE, Power Over Ethernet, options for our cameras and uh, doing some great donations to charity. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys.